Yo, what's up internet, Rich Malachy. I am back in the warehouse that you've seen before. We're here to do another top five video, and that top five is how to onboard a new tech, or top five things for onboarding a new tech. So, the number one thing is, you can't have a tech without a van. So, if we don't have a spare van in the fleet, obviously we gotta get a van, and we are now using Enterprise. So, it's uh, fleet management, and it really cuts down on costs. And uh, I recommend uh, if you're putting vans out on the road to take a look into that. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out to me. Kind of new to us, but it's uh, it's going well so far. Number two, obviously, we're in the warehouse, the parts warehouse inventory. So I know a lot of my service companies, when you're onboarding a new tech, you're thinking premium parts to put on there, uh, the stuff you're going to use over and over again, the stuff you know you're going to turn, your regulators, your thermocouples, your basal valves, your TS-11 valves, different kind of KX thermostats, BJ's thermostats, different things like that. On top of that, you're thinking go boxes for key accounts. So it can get a little costly, but you can't put a van out on the road and not be ready to tackle those first visit fixes that we all wanted to get. Yeah, so that's number two. Yeah. Number three, when you're onboarding a new tech, tools. So a lot of times your technician that you hire is gonna come with tools, but not always. So what we like to do is ask them what they think they're going to need to do their job most efficiently, and we'll sit down, we'll get it all on paper, and we'll get those tools for them. Whether it's a grinder, a new drill, it doesn't matter. We need them to do their jobs top notch, top performance, top quality. Next, four, very, very important one. Company, culture, and core values. We like to sit down with our new technicians and onboard them properly, letting them know the core values. One of the big ones is care. The other big one for me is urgency. Not that the other ones don't matter, but care and urgency are so big in the business that we are in. And I need them to understand that we can't just talk about it. We need to be about it. It needs to be what we embody here as a company. So when you're onboarding a new technician, it's very, very important that they know what we stand for. And that means they're in that van, they're wearing that logo, that they stand for that now too. Otherwise, it's not gonna be a good fit. Next. And number five, last but not least, is, oh yeah, systems and procedures. So we also onboard our technician that is just starting by riding along with a senior technician to get familiar with the way we operate. So, you know, we're right now we're starting to get the tablets really rolled out. It's been a very long uphill battle. Story for another day. So they need to know how we operate, how we're talking with our customers when we arrive, how we're keeping them informed of what we're doing throughout the service call, and at the end, making sure the signatures are happening and that everything is being explained properly to a T, so there are no questions about, when did you fix it? Is there a part coming? So the, the technician that's being onboarded needs to know that we want to communicate and they need to know the systems and procedures about ordering parts and doing quotes and handling warranty calls versus regular uh, service calls. So these things all need to be done and they only need to be done quickly because as we all know, technicians are, are very hard to come by and when you find a good one and you get them on a van, you gotta get them on a van quick and you gotta onboard it and make it happen. So these are top five things that, that are necessary to happen when onboarding a new technician. I'm sure there's plenty of more, uh, plenty more things that you guys might think of, and that is where you come in. Let me know what you do when you're onboarding a new technician, because I would love to improve what I do, and I'm sure other people will benefit from your knowledge as well. So let's get at it in the comments. Hit the like, hit the share, and if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe. We need to get this community stronger. Let's do it. So that's going to be it for top five. We'll be back next week with another one, guaranteed. And uh, that's it. Rich Malachy here, signing out. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do it all. You got to do it. Go now, right now. See ya.